Hello, I'm Evan with Hill People Gear, and I'm going to talk to you today about our new cargo kit bag. Uh, so this starts with a story. A little over a year ago, I was uh, at SHOT Show. We have a little get together for folks, uh, you know, customers, industry friends and such um, on the years that we go. And I was talking to a guy who's a top precision rifle competitor. He's won Mammoth two or three times. Uh, and he was saying, hey, you know, the best way to carry big binoculars is not vertically, it's horizontally. And the best thing I've found is one of your kit bags, you know, your large uh, original pattern or SAR kit bag. And uh, the problem is, man, if it could just be a little bit deeper. Now, there's really no percentage in us uh, designing a kit bag for the handful of guys who are switched on enough to understand that a big set of binos should be carried like this instead of like this uh, but it uh, gave me an aha moment because a little bit deeper kit bag solved a problem that I've been fighting with for a handful of years now uh, so when I'm in the field uh, one of my uh, top job responsibilities my my top purposes is to take pictures and video like this and uh, my gear my camera gear has just gotten progressively bigger and bigger over the years and so I had gotten to the point where I was really having a hard time fitting the camera that I needed to carry and all my normal kit bag stuff uh, in a kit bag and I thought you know what I don't just have that problem. There's a lot of people who have that problem because there's not a lot of great ways to carry camera equipment in the backcountry out there, uh, particularly readily accessible. Uh, so what I did was set out to design a kit bag for essentially large electronics. So that's the uh, cargo kit bag. Uh, so basically, all of our other kit bags have a concealed pistol compare pistol carry compartment which you may or may not use that's up to you um, but this when you're carrying large electronics like this you really don't also want to have a pistol there I mean like this thing I should weigh it but I'll bet it's like 10 pounds uh, you don't want 10 pounds plus a pistol sitting on your chest uh, so at any rate uh, I'll just talk through the construction of this thing. So this is very different. There's no pistol compartment. Uh, what there is, uh, starting from the back, is just a single large main compartment. And basically we're three inches deep. All of our kit bags, you know, our, our thickest kit bags elsewise are two and a half inches deep. So this is that extra half an inch. And the rearmost compartment is just Velcro lined and allows you to carry something like this. Uh, or the aforementioned binoculars, etc. And this is all Velcro loop lined and we sell these uh, organizer buckets. And this is our, I think, large, tall, yes, large, tall organizer bucket. And I use that to stabilize the camera where I want to have it. And as you can see, this is a big lens. This is a one to 400, one of the, the Sony uh, G series. And I can carry that whole rig right in here like so, uh, which is handy. Uh, and we have others, for instance, this, uh, general purpose Tamron lens that normally I'm carrying in here. Uh, this goes in a, um, uh, what is this, medium tall organizer bucket. So this same lens on this camera uh, is smaller and more convenient, but the bottom line, I can carry my wildlife lens in here. Uh, and you know, if you, if you want to carry other kinds of electronics, you can get all those organized in here in our organizer buckets. Um, you know as you like so that's really all that's there is just a big big pocket i'm going to just take that out is a big big pocket and then there's a front slot pocket with uh, a piece of foam in it so you have foam at the back foam here and this is foam padded and so you can stabilize whatever camera you need inside of there like so um, and that's it as far as that compartment's concerned. Now, to paint on what you're carrying, how you pack, you can put other things around it. Like I've got uh, a little uh, mini mic that I can carry underneath that thing and it kind of balances the camera. Um, and that's the main compartment. And so from there, I said, well, we're going to, because we're doing that, uh, just the single large main compartment, let's give a lot more space for organization of small items up front. So first of all, you have uh, these front slot pockets where you can carry, you know, spare lenses or whatever. There are dummy cord loops sewn in there. So if you wanted that to be a uh, uh, compass or something like that tied in there, you absolutely could. And then you have this partial horseshoe opening compartment here. And that reveals 
uh, I've gone to tweeve internally here to give you a lot of stretchability so you can kind of intrude into the main compartment where the camera is. Uh, tweeve at the back here, two tweeve slot pockets, and then two tweeve slot pockets at the front as well. So, and you can see the dummy cord tabs. So you have a lot of space in here to organize small items that you may need to carry in addition to your large electronic. Um, and so that's, you know, that's all of the compartments there. Uh, one thing I should note, uh, we do have the dummy cord loop in the bottom of the main compartment. If you want to carry a pistol in the main compartment, like a large revolver, I could see folks saying, hey, you know, large revolver really is tight in a pistol compartment. I want to carry a big old end frame in there. You're going to want a secondary holster for the most part. Uh, and if you choose to do that, the demi cord loop is there for the pull away trigger guard style or find something that Velcro's in. Uh, <clears throat> so, the other thing that I did, um, as you notice, this opens from here to here. That's right opening. And the reason for that is because camera bodies are like this. So if I want an angled camera body, right draw is the right, the correct way to do that. Um, the other thing, since we're doing that, is you have, and it's three inches deep, I have just enough space for two channels of, of mole. It goes here, all the way to here. That's a lot of mole organizational capability. Uh, if you wanted to carry a spare lens underneath here and like a Nalgene holder, uh, if you want to carry bear spray, tourniquet, if you even want to carry a bottle, a water bottle, you know our water bottle holsters will fit on, uh, two models of them will fit on this double pallet. Maybe you want your rangefinder pouch here, all kinds of options for that. Now the big thing that I need to say is if you get this thing loaded down with heavy gear, Man, it is a little uncomfortable to carry on the shoulder harness alone. The nice thing is that, like all of our kit bags, this thing can be docked to the shoulder harness of a host backpack. And that makes it manageable, that makes it doable. I've been carrying for oh, months and months now uh, that camera body with the smaller lens uh, in this bag, totally comfortable, totally happily. Um, and so, like I said, dock to a shoulder harness and our load lifter straps will attach to a lot of different companies' shoulder harnesses. Uh, they come with this particular model of kit bag. Uh, and then if you're carrying a big pack with load lifters, it really takes all the weight right off of um, right off your back and shoulders and kind of docks it into the pack, which then drives the weight down into uh, your waist belt if it's a belted waist belt. Now, the other option, the other thing that's real nice about this that we've been able to do. This is the first model of pack that we have with a quick detach shoulder harness. We've always wanted a quick detach shoulder harness, but just haven't found the right way to do it. So along comes these gatekeeper buckles, which I've been testing for a while now. I think they're plenty solid. Uh, and basically what you do is you pop them. Now this one, this is the only one that's loop lock. You'll lose it very easily if you don't have get in the habit of putting it like this. Uh, but at any rate, you just squeeze these things and pop it off. It's as quick as that. And that leaves you a back that has nothing but tabs to tie off of. So, uh, tabs, first of all, it's real slick. It's easy to dock to something else. It's easy to throw in somewhere, even put inside of a larger pack, you know, because there's no buckles hanging off. <clears throat> but then it also allows you to do other things. Uh, the attache strap that we sell, you can turn this into a simple sling bag or musette bag. My favorite is uh, our pocket sling. This thing really is nice. So I just clip that into The mole on the end, which matches perfectly, and then the side here, and you end up with a very comfortable sling bag. Um, there was a while this spring after I had some surgery where uh, this was kind of all I could carry, and it was real nice to have all my basic possible stuff plus my camera in a weight that I could actually carry. And on this, even full with heavy equipment, this thing is really comfortable. So if you wanted to get one of these and add uh, one of our pocket slings, then you'd have a nice, big, capable uh, sling bag that's a camera bag. 
Um, right now, we only sell the two sling options, uh, but we're looking at some other things to make it a little bit more, oh, multi-purpose and compatible maybe with some of our, uh, our other products. So that, in a nutshell, is the cargo kit bag. Uh, like I said, it was designed primarily for a big camera carry uh, or somebody who's wanting to carry those big range finding binoculars. Um, but, you know, if there's other equi uh, electronic equipment that you're wanting to carry on your chest, uh, this might be your answer. And, you know, if you, if you like the capabilities of this, you don't have to load it up. Um, you know, you don't have to have it just as full as could be. Uh, there's, there's nothing about it that compresses, you know, if you have it under. But if you're not carrying too much weight in this thing, um, you know, this is fine for chest carry. You know, maybe search and rescue folks uh, want to carry a, a um, radio vertically on the side. Um, folks who've been asking us for the ability to carry a water bottle with a kit bag, as long as you don't have a five pound camera in there as well. Uh, that might be your choice. Uh, so I think a lot of people are gonna find this useful despite the fact that really it was designed for camera carry. And of course, if you're the person who's been struggling with how to carry a big camera, well protected in the back country, uh, this cargo kit bag may well be your answer. Thanks for watching.